What's up you guys? Today I'm going to be doing a restoration video. This is going to be showing you guys how to fix a two motor jemmy singing fish. Uh, basically if you have a fish where the tail is moving but the head is not and the whistle piece is snapped, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace that piece and also the main gear and the head and the tail is split. I'll play it for you so you see what it does. The tail moves a little bit but it is split. know the head is completely um, snapped because I moved it up and it, there's no resistance. So the whistle piece is snapped, we're going to replace that piece. This works with like all two motor fish, so cool catfish, Travis trout, jaws, billy bones, except it's in the tail, the whistle piece is in the tail, not the head. And same thing with one of one version of Rocky the lobster where the tail, the whistle piece is in the tail. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started here you guys. First step as always is going to be remove the six screws on the back of the flag. Take the back of the plaque, remove it. So here's the inside. Next step is going to be, we're going to want to remove all of the screws around here. So that's going to be uh, this, this, these. There's two on this side. These three, we'll just go one at a time. These two are a bit hard to get because they're under the circuit board. If you want, you can actually remove the whole circuit board if you don't feel comfortable with dealing with these. You just take this screw and this screw off, you can move the circuit board. I'm just gonna get them like this. And this one is hiding under here. Now you remove these three. Then this whole assembly pops off here. And so do the top pieces here. So this comes off and it comes off on the other side as well. There we go. This comes off, top one comes off too. get it here there we go so now we're going to remove the screws on the main motor here this is the body motor this controls both the head and the tail um, as you can see the whole thing's kind of coming off already but it's easier to remove the motor anyways all right so set these screws aside remove the main motor there's the split gear this one is, should be nine tooth. It is nine tooth. There we go, new gear is on. So I'm just gonna give it a quick test real quick, just make sure it works. Yep, works great. So let's not put this motor in yet because we have to remove the fabric here and actually get inside the main gearbox if we want to replace this whistle piece, which we absolutely do. All right, so now once you have once you do that, I just put the motor here or just anywhere and I close up the flag. And now it's very easy to access the inside of the fish. So, to access the whistle piece, you're going to want to unbolt the tail and the head. So to do this, I usually do, I think I don't think it matters, but so this is the screw you want to take out on the tail side. I think it's the only one. Sometimes you'll have more than one screw. Just if there's more, just take them all out. And then, so once you do that, this whole assembly pops up and out. And then, yeah. So yeah, it just, it came out the other side. But we'll, we'll deal with the spring. We'll put the spring back in later. 
Let me take the. Okay, there we go. I got the top off. So set that aside. Now we're going to unbolt the head mechanism from the main gearbox. And literally same exact procedure. Just watch the foam. There's a lot of foam in here. There is a screw up there. I think there might be another one. Or maybe it's just one again. Right there, see it? Unbolting the head from the rest of the fish. So now I got that screw. I think that's it for the head. It is. Same thing. Head just. Let me, uh, what I'm doing is I don't want the whole axle to come out, so I'm holding it with my pliers and just taking out the individual piece. So I got to remember this is head, this is tail. And then you just slide it off the other side. Hold the top and then slide the other hinge off the bottom. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but then you have yourself. Oh shoot, it's cutting this. There we go. Then you have yourself the main head gearbox. The whistle piece is in here. Just make sure you put it back correctly when you're done. So we're gonna take apart this screw, this one. And this one. And then the one under here. Oh, I already got that one. Oh, and this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna gently peel the top of this off. I really didn't want to, but I don't, I kind of have to. So gently, very gently, so that none of the gears are trapped on the top here. Okay. Let me just grab this axle and put it back in here. Swing that in right, okay. So the whistle piece is right here, as you can see. And there's a crack in it. And basically what happens is when the head, I don't wanna get my hands all greasy, but When the head pops up, this is supposed to be right here. And it's supposed to, this main gear, so this gear right here, the big one, t um, locks onto this one and it catches the piece, but this splits. And so it just rotates freely, see that? So we don't want that. Um, also make sure when you put your whistle piece in, it looks like this. Don't put it in the other way. So like that, make sure it's in like this. You can either 3D print them. I 3D print them personally. I actually still have some old 3D printed ones from um, the Hohenmeister. So here is the piece I'll be replacing with. It is 3D printed. So all you do is you slide the old piece off, slide the new one on. Um, sometimes if you're using like an authentic one or if it's a, uh, it could be a little tight fit, but there we go. And then you just put it right back where it was. Make sure it looks like this and then close it up. Also, if you have a one, of, if you have this fish and the mouth isn't working too, then before you reinstall, I would definitely go up here and oh, the mouth's on the other side, and replace that gear right there. You basically have to go on the other side, so like go on here, take the motor out, remove the foam, take the motor out, place the gear on it. Uh, same drill as the head and tail. You just get into a different motor.
My fish's mouth is not split, so we're not going to be doing that. So let's go ahead and reassemble it now. So you just throw that in, and then throw the other side in here. Uh, it goes like, uh, let's see, it goes like this. that line it up so it lines up with the second and the screw is it goes in right there All right head is back oh wait I don't know why that got disconnected but There we go. Side, I get this side in first. This one goes like this. See that? And then we're gonna put this screw Right. I'm gonna put the screw right there if I can find it. There's one of these guys. All right, I'm in. So now for reassembly, set the stand up here on the plaque. And then we're going to go ahead and slide all the the, the fabric or, or rubber, depending on what your fish has. This one is fabric. Um, we're gonna put the head motor back in first. And also, when, when you do put the head motor in, give it a quick test, see if it works. See, it's not it, here we go. Okay, we're good. So now we're gonna put the screws back on. Same way we took it apart, we're gonna put it back together. It can be kind of hard to find all of the spots where these try to find like the top ones and then just put that piece in for the top ones and put us just throw a screw in there. Sometimes they're gonna look like this because depending on the fish you have, they actually, the companies just, Jimmy, like what they did, the manufacturer, they just kind of put holes in them. Like with the screws rather than actually like, like pre-cutting holes. So they just kind of did this. It can be, it can be kind of hard to tell. So I'm actually gonna just show you. You can literally just take the board off.
See, it's so much easier now. Where's the hole? I think it's right there. It could be hard to tell because they kind of... They're pretty bad themselves. The head comes up all the way, so we should be good. The adapter jack came off and sometimes the little, uh, what do you call them, these little things can pop off too. Now make sure you're like not like on top of any wires when you put this back on. Here's the fish after repairs. I have to wipe it down. I'm gonna give it a good cleaning after this. It is pretty clean, but I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit better so it looks really shiny. And once you're done with that, um, you should have a fully working fish. It should, should work something like this. Not break. That 